Hey, hello again, Mike O'Brien, your getaway guy. Thank you again for coming along for the ride. Today, it is a two hour ride out of Rochester to a hidden gem in where? Utica, New York? Yep, not a lot of people know about it, but you do as of right now. Add a little culture to your life. It's a great family getaway and it's absolutely free to see. Come on. This is the Munson Williams Proctor Museum of Art, right on Genesee Street, downtown Utica. Now, there's not a whole lot in Utica that I'm familiar with, but boy, this museum stands out big time. It's amazing. 20 galleries from 19th century American art to modern and contemporary. And there's a Jackson Pollock, which is kind of like the signature piece in the museum. And that's not all, if we were to name drop, I mean, not only the work of Jackson Pollock, uh, but, and look at this thing, it's enormous too, it's pretty cool. But there's also wonderful galleries of different kinds of art. And don't get me wrong, Rochester has its own wonderful galleries like the, uh, the Memorial Art Gallery. But here at the Munson Williams Proctor Museum of Art, not only Jackson Pollock, but you can see some wonderful pieces from, for instance, Pablo Picasso. Uh, there's also some works from Georgia O'Keeffe. And it just goes on and on. One of the galleries that I really enjoyed was one by Thomas Cole, mid-1800s. And the works of art are just absolutely enormous here at the Museum Williams Proctor Museum of Art. Uh, and there's the gallery pretty much all unto Thomas Cole and his works. But these are, these are enormous uh, pieces of art. Uh, it's all oil on canvas. And I just really enjoyed myself. And you know, a little bit of culture in the middle of winter, hey, why not? But I think you're gonna really enjoy the Munson Williams Proctor Museum of Art. It is open Thursday, I'm sorry, it is open Tuesday through Saturdays from 10 to five, and then Sundays from one to five, and they are closed on Mondays, as many museums are. So open every day of the week except Mondays in downtown Utica, right on Genesee Street. And the cool thing is, the museum is absolutely free to see. Just walk on in. I mean, nothing's free these days. But this getaway is free to see. Free parking. Move to the back of the museum. And you'll find the parking lot there. Or you can park on Genesee Street, enter from the front. I found it much more uh, doable from going around to the back, parking in the big parking lot there, enter from the rear of the museum, and there you go. It's all yours to see. There weren't a lot of people there. It is handicap accessible, so that's the good news. Uh, it's a very accessible museum. Plenty to do, plenty to see, and even the kids, why not? There's some activity things going on there as well, but go ahead and look at their website and find out exactly what is going on, and their website is MW pai.org. They're at 310 Genesee Street, downtown Utica. It was a two-hour ride uh, out of Rochester for me, and I'm going to tell you more about the ride and a little hidden gem. You got to do breakfast in the morning on your way to Utica, right? I found the perfect hole in the wall. You're going to love it. And I'll show you that in just a second. And I'll tell you more about how to get to Utica. And I'm sure you already know, but I'll kind of go over my little trip. I left early in the morning. But before we do that, uh, I want to talk about our new sponsor, one of our new sponsors, Quickly Flex Training Center. I go here. Yes, Mike goes to the gym and I should go a little more often, but you know, this is where I go. I've been going to Flex forever. It's a neighborhood fitness center uh, from treadmills to all kinds of cardio and strength equipment. It's a no frills, comfortable, no judgment gym. And I love that. That's why I love it there. People are so friendly or onto themselves and memberships begin at $9.99 a month. You cannot go wrong with just starting at $9.99 a month. I mean, that's pretty cool. Tom is there. He's always getting new equipment. He'll show you around. They're at 675 Atlantic Avenue across from East High School in the city. Again, Flex Training Center. Uh, probably will run into you there if you go check it out, but Tom will take good care of you. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a gym to just kind of do some cardio or maybe some light weights. Tom will show you everything that's perfect for you, and uh, and I think you'll find this to be a very comfortable gym to go to. If you don't already have one, check out Flex, Flex Training Center, Atlantic Avenue in the city. Now, I left Rochester for today's getaway to head to Utica. I left about seven o'clock in the morning, and it was a nice drive. Um, you know, the roads were clear. You've got to find a good day this time of year. Make sure roads are nice and clear. Uh, the sky was beautiful. Very little traffic on the New York State Thruway. I headed east, headed east toward Utica. 
But before I got there in East Syracuse, I stopped at Mother's Cupboard for breakfast. This is one of those hidden gems. All the locals know about it. Now you know about it. Uh, I loved it there. The food was really good at Mother's Cupboard. Huge pancakes. I think the big takeaway here is that the portions are enormous. That's my breakfast right there before it was devoured. Uh, it's just basic, simple eggs, bacon, home fries, and toast. Uh, good coffee. Always a lot of people. Cash only. Open every day. Mother's Cupboard uh, in, uh, in East Syracuse. And it's easy to get to. Exit 35 off the New York State Thruway. And you head south on Thompson Road. And then uh, you're pretty much there just to right on to James Street. Very easy to find. You could Google it as well or MapQuest it. But it's, it's a great little stop on your way to Utica. And that's what, exactly what I did. Grab breakfast and then back on the road. I mean, you're right there. The Thruway is right off the Thruway pretty much. Uh, so it's easy access on your way to Utica. Uh, and then... From there, it's about another hour. You're in Utica. Overall, the trip is about two hours from Rochester to Utica. Spend an hour or two at the museum. And then it's back in the car and head on back. And I was home by like one or two in the afternoon. I still had plenty of the day left over. So you get a nice early start. And, uh, and on a nice clear day, it's a nice little getaway for you and the whole family or just the two of you or just by yourself. Um, I highly recommend the Munson Williams Proctor Art Museum, one of my favorite getaways this time of year. It's a museum that no one even knows about, but you do now, and some wonderful works of art inside. Uh, we do this feature called Ask the Getaway Guy, where people email me questions. And you can do the same at MikeTheGetawayGuy at gmail.com. Let's go to a question right now. And this one comes from, and I have it right here, uh, Carmen. Carmen from Greece, New York, writes, Hey, Getaway Guy, when our family goes on a road trip, we take a lot of pictures, but only keep the cream of the crop. In the past year, have you kept a few of your favorites and can you share them with us? No, I'm so sorry. Yes, of course I can, Carmen. <laughs> uh, well, here's a couple of them. I mean, there's a million of them, but a, a few that I really like and the ones that I have kept. I went to Goat Island, as you know, oh, probably about three months ago, maybe not quite three months ago, but it was when no one was there. It was nice and weather was still, you know, doable. And on Go at Goat Island, Niagara Falls, USA, that rainbow appearing over the falls right on the edge there was absolutely beautiful. So I kept this picture, this video per se, of the rainbow over uh, Goat Island uh, at Niagara Falls, USA. The other one is the Corny Museum of Glass. Do you remember I did that getaway a while ago? I think this past fall. Well, there's this one piece called Cityscape by Jay Muslers, the artist. 1998, he put this together and it's absolutely beautiful and it's just so astonishing. It's just a, a warm bowl. It's it's made of glass, of course, and all along the rim, the, the, the cityscape, thus the name. I think that's one of my keepers. And then it was cherry blossom time in Washington, D.C. And this particular piece of uh, video that I took uh, was one of my favorites with the Jefferson Memorial in the background and the cherry blossoms in front. I think this was last April. And I just loved it there that time of year. It's a little bit warmer there. But those are a couple of my, uh, couple of my favorite picks, so to speak. If I were to pick a few for you, uh, thank you very much, Carmen, for writing. He says he's a big fan, and we really appreciate that very, very much. If you're looking for getaways, I have 50 of my favorite getaways that I did on TV in each one of my travel books, 50 per book. There's 100 New York State travel getaways, pretty much all in New York State. They're day trips, and you need the books. You really do. Um, they're great for the upcoming spring. It isn't that far away, and you got to start planning your day trips. So tell me what you need. Uh, and what I'm doing is BOGO. You buy the first, uh, the, the volume number two, uh, and you'll get volume number one for free. And I'll even sign them to whoever you want to give them to, maybe for yourself. But just go to MikeTheGetawayGuy at gmail.com. Email me. Tell me what you need. I'll take care of you. MikeTheGetawayGuy at gmail.com for my travel books. And there they are right there. Um, if you uh, have an idea, like I say, not only can you ask for that uh, on, on my uh, email uh, Mike the Getaway Guy at gmail.com. Ask me any questions you want. Also, order uh, the travel books. We can take care of both in one fell swoop.
Thank you, Jim's. Jim's on Main, downtown Rochester, one of our favorite places to go, 785 East Main Street, breakfast and lunch, cash only, but it's real good. They do have an ATM machine inside. Uh, good breakfast, pretty cheap, late riser, coffee refills. Elena and family do such a great job at Jim's. You know this is one of my go-to places. It's right on Main Street, down from the Auditorium Theater, and uh, they're open all the time, every day of the week. If you need breakfast downtown Rochester, Jim's on Main is the place to go. And that's pretty much our show for today. How about that? The uh, the Munson Museum in Utica, Mother's Cupboard in East Syracuse, and boy, do I have a great getaway coming up next time. I hope you will uh, check it out. You can see all of my Getaway Guy adventures. Uh, just put in the Getaway Guy search on Facebook. We're also on YouTube. I would love to have you tune in, like us, and enjoy the ride. Until next time, I'm Mike O'Brien, your getaway guy.